Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. Recently, the DM Zone traveled to New York City. Road trip, road trip, and we had so much fun. We caught up there with Hope Tar, best-selling author published by Entangled Publishing. One of the things we talked about was her newest book, Operation Cinderella. Let's watch the interview together, shall we? Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. Today I am visiting with Hope Tar, best-selling and award-winning author. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's lovely to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited with your visit. Let's talk about that spark. How does that happen when you start a novel? Well, for me, the characters are always the, the very, very first thing that comes to me, and particularly the dialogue. I, uh, I like to joke that I hear voices in my head, <laughs> but it's really not too terribly far from the truth, uh, particularly accents. And I think uh, being a writer and uh, being an eavesdropper are very, uh, very much uh, hand in hand. Oh, I love that. When you start writing a new book, what is the big thrill? Well, I think for me, starting a new book, it's like starting a new love affair. <laughs> it's it's wonderful because everything is possible. There's nothing that is set in stone, and, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful kind of giddy ride. And you write contemporary romance. What exactly does that mean? Well, it's romance that's happening right now. Ah. I mean, we could we could be having a romance in this room right now. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, it's really fun, and uh, I love my contemporary voice. It's very uh, I like to think it's very smart and sexy and sassy, and uh, I like to think that that's what I bring to my books, uh, including Operation Cinderella, which is coming out soon. Operation Cinderella. That reminds me, you take a classic story and tell me about that. I am a fairy tale junkie. I grew up on Walt Disney and uh, I loved all of the, the fairy tales, the princess fairy tales, but particularly Cinderella. I think it's a wonderful story. It has wonderful archetypes for young women. Uh, it's, the themes are timeless. And uh, I love that Cinderella takes charge of her life and walks into that ball when it would be so easy to stay home by the hearth. <laughs> so, you so you take that and bring it into today? I do. I, I take that and I bring that into contemporary New York and Washington, D.C. with my heroine. Oh, now you've just led me into my next question. Location. What makes that determination for you? How do you choose your location? I choose my location pretty much based on someplace I would either like to go or have lived or been for an extended period of time. In the case of uh, the Suddenly Cinderella series for Entangled, I set the books in Washington, D.C., and I was a graduate student there for six years. I went to the Catholic University of America. And then uh, New York, because I'm, I'm now a, a come here New Yorker. I've been here uh, going on five years. And uh, I love the city, and the city is almost a, a character in the book. It is indeed. Tell me, Hope, what's next on the horizon for you? Well, I'm so excited. Operation Cinderella is the first in a Suddenly Cinderella series. And the next book actually is a Christmas novella based loosely on the Charles Dickens classic, A Christmas Carol. It will aptly be titled A Suddenly Cinderella Christmas Carol. Oh, that sounds fun. It's very fun. I had a lot of fun writing it, and I hope readers uh, have as much fun reading it. It's uh, also set in New York, which is a wonderful place to spend Christmas. I certainly enjoy it here. And it uh, it takes a secondary character who's the managing editor of a, of a very uh, ballsy, if you'll uh, pardon the expression, women's magazine in New York, and she's a bit of a Scrooge. And she has a visitation on Christmas Eve by a very sexy Christmas spirit who looks very, very much like the sexy young art director she's been fighting feelings for at work. I can't wait to read it. Hope, <laughs> oh, tell me, where do we find you? You can find me online at my website at hopetar.com. And Twitter? Twitter, Facebook, uh, all of the share buttons are right there on my website, so just start there. Awesome. Hope you have a special way of giving back to your community. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I'm always happy to talk about my favorite subject, which is Lady Jane's Salon. Lady Jane's is New York City's first and so far only monthly romance reading series. So it's always very exciting to be the first, especially in New York City. Uh, we launched in February of 2009 and we now have four satellites nationwide. And every, uh, every Lady Jane salon gives uh, back its net proceeds to a designated 501c3 charity. At the New York Salon, we give to Women in Need, which is a wonderful New York City-based charity that has been in operation since the early 80s, and it targets 
uh, women in need, just as the title would imply, whether uh, former victims of domestic violence or otherwise uh, starting over their lives, and helps them uh, have a productive, fresh start. And so it's our way of giving a uh, happily ever after to and, real life women. And tell me about the salon. I know that that's a vehicle for you to give back to the charity, but describe the salon. Oh, it is wonderful. We uh, have the salon currently at Madame X in Soho at the top, uh, the top tier. We have a lovely stage and a mic, and we have had some amazing, amazing authors read for us. Uh, Eloisa James, uh, Sabrina Jeffries, uh, really the luminaries of, of the romance uh, genre, as well as some really wonderful fresh, uh, fresh voices of debut authors and mid-list authors. Uh, I, I love it. We have uh, four readers approximately every salon. We meet the first Monday of every month from 7 to 9 p.m. at Madame X. How wonderful. What fun. I can't wait. I have you got to get open. I was going to say, I've got to get there next. Yes. <laughs> and you can visit us online at LadyJaneSalonNYC.com. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for spending time with me oh, today. Thank you for having me, DM. Okay. And you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon. Hi, I'm Hope Tar, and I would like to wish all of my readers fairy tale dreams come true. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Hope. Be sure and look for her books, Hope Tar, at hopetar.com. You have been in the DM zone. Come back soon. <laughs>